Research Design Lab. Hello everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to burn pick codes on this development board with the help of a simple LED blinking code. To begin with, we need to create a code first. Let's use a simple code present in the product page. I shall use LED keypad code which changes the sequence of 8 LEDs. There are various compilers in which you can write your codes. The most common ones being MPLAB and Micro C Pro for PIC. I'm more into Micro C Pro compiler, so I shall use the same compiler for the demonstration of this code. Here, let me just copy the code and paste it in my compiler software after completion of the initial setup. Save and build the code to check for any errors. So now the code has been successfully compiled. Next we need to do is dump this code into the hardware or the PIC IC. For this we need this additional programmer which creates an interface between a computer and the development board. Just connect your programmer to your computer using the USB A to B cable and connect your FRC cable end to the ISP socket present on the development board. Make sure your IC has been detected by the software. You could use check communication option to do the same. Once the IC has been detected, import the hex file from your computer hard disk to the burner software and hit write. The software indicates the status of the code getting burnt into the IC. Wait until the software finishes the burning process. Please note, we need to supply power to the board so that you may be able to burn the code into the IC. Also, there are enough PIC burners available which you could use to burn the codes into the PIC IC. Now, let me make the connections on this board using these female jumper cables. To know which pins are being used, kindly refer the code. In this code, the entire port B is given to the LEDs. So, let's connect 8 jumper cables between the LEDs and port B. Also, there are 4 inputs which are given to a set of keys. For now, I shall connect these to 1 class 4 push buttons present on the development board. Let's power on the board and see what happens. As you can see, these LEDs are just being toggled in an orderly manner. Now, I shall press and hold the first key. You can notice the LED sequence has been changed. Now, if I press the second key, I will have a different sequence of LEDs. Same is true for other two keys as well. If you want to change the LED sequence to your choice, then you just need to change a few lines in the code. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to do this. It's really easy to write a simple I.O. code. Next, we have an Arduino shield header. This header could be used to mount your Arduino shields on this board and can be used to interface the shields to the PIC development board. As you can see, we can easily mount this GSM shield. Corresponding headers are parallel to the board so you can easily make the necessary connection. Same goes for this Bluetooth or LCD shield or for that matter any other Arduino shields. Thank you for watching.